Hello friends, uh, good morning. How is everybody doing? It's truly a blessing uh, to share uh, the Word of God today here with you uh, at the quarantine week. Uh, just a brief introduction of myself. Uh, my name is David Shin and I am an international student advisor at the International Student Center at Liberty University. And also, I'm an assistant pastor at Lynchburg Korean Church, a local church here at Lynchburg. I first want to welcome uh, each one of you guys uh, who have came to Liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. And thank God that each one of you guys have came here safely and arrived here safely. I was actually also in you guys' shoes uh, about eight years ago. Uh, as I came here to Liberty for the first time and everything was new. Um, and I bet you guys are half excited and half a uh, little bit worried uh, as you guys are looking forward to new things, experiencing new things. And for me, I was very shy person. So I was a little bit more worried than excited when I first came to Liberty because everything was so new. There was a new place to sleep at, a new food, a new environment circumstances, a new culture, new languages, just everything was new. So I got worried and discouraged and many things were tough. But I want to encourage each one of you guys to not be worried or discouraged, but rather be excited uh, for the new things uh, that God has planned for each one of you guys here at Liberty. And with that encouragement, I want to look at a quick verse in the scripture. It comes from Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. I will read it for you guys. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. It says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and co be courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So this is after uh, Moses have led the people of Israel uh, out of Egypt, and he led the people to uh, the wilderness, for, and they were there for 40 years. They were kind of training uh, in living in God, in obeying His words. Of course, you know, they went to the wilderness after they crossed the Red Sea. And after the finish of the 40 years of the training, now the pe people of Israel were ready to go to the Promised Land, which God has promised to Abraham and to his descendants that God will lead them to the Promised Land, Canaan. That was their ultimate goal of what God has planned for them. So it was actually a pretty huge deal for people of Israel to go to the Promised Land, Canaan, the land of Canaan. But right before they had to go to the land of Canaan, Moses had passed away. And I'm not sure if you guys know, but Moses was like the bridge for the people of Israel and for God, as he has delivered uh, the message of God, the laws of God, and taught them taught the people of Israel how to live uh, in God through the 40 years of the wilderness time. But right before the ultimate goal of what God has promised for the people of Israel, Moses had passed away and Joshua had to uh, succeed, so had to lead after Moses. And I bet if I was Joshua, I would be like sweating and I, I wouldn't know what to do. But God came to Joshua, of course. And in Joshua chapter 1, verse 6, if you guys have your Bibles or if you want to hear me, it says, Be strong and be courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. So here we're able to see that God is kind of commanding Joshua to be strong and be courageous because Joshua now 
has to lead the people of Israel to the Promised Land. The ultimate goal, right? This is huge. And you guys coming to Liberty is huge. Everything's new and new experiences, new friends, new environment, new culture. They're all huge. And just like Joshua, we're able to see he was a little bit afraid. He was a little bit discouraged. But I want to let you guys know first that it is okay to be a little bit afraid. It is okay to be a little bit discouraged. But in the midst, I want to encourage you guys to uh, be strong and be courageous as you guys hold on to God. Because I truly believe that He has plans for each one of you guys. He has set plans, good plans, so that good things will happen, prosperous things will happen as you guys start new things at Liberty. I want to read uh, Joshua chapter 1, uh, verse 7 and 8, as it is the core message uh, of this scripture. So if you guys can follow along in uh, your Bible or your Bible apps, or you can hear me out. It says, be strong and be very courageous. Not just courageous, but very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and be successful. So through this scripture, we're able to see how God is commanding Joshua to be strong, to be courageous, very courageous. But how? How do we be strong and stay courageous? God, you know, thankfully enough, kindly, has given us all the instructions. It says, be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave to you. Do not turn from it to the right or left. So this means in an easier uh, sense or sentence to obey the Word of God. To not turn right or left of what the world is telling you guys, but to be staying into the Word of God. Obeying, trying to obey the Word of God faithfully. Holding on to God. And then it says, keep this book always on your lips. So do not let the word cease from you, from your lips, but always let the word of God be on your lips, you know, talking to others and talking to yourselves or your friends or the new people you guys meet. And then God just puts it this way. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and be courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. So as we uh, meditate on this scripture together, I want to encourage you guys. You know, we, may, we can be, we may be a little bit scared. We may be afraid, but we can remember, you know, Joshua, he was super scared, I can say. Because Moses was like almost, he wasn't God, but he was like God to some people of Israel because he was delivering the message of God. You know, but Joshua had to lead after Moses and he had to lead the people to the promised land. And he was super scared, but God came to him, of course, and told him, commanded him not to be afraid, but be courageous, to be strong. So with this message, as we are staying strong and being courageous in the Lord, in Jesus Christ, our Savior, I want to end uh, with the last word of encouragement slash uh, recommendation. So first, I want to encourage you guys not to be afraid, like me, I was super shy, in trying new things or meeting new people, talking with them and just sharing life together, because there will be much good in that. You know, maybe, the new thing that you try out may be your biggest hobby of your life. Or the person you may meet 
for the first time, maybe your best friend or uh, your wife or your husband. So I also want to recommend you guys to try out uh, school activities, you know, to be involved in school. You know, of course, you guys will be in classes and studying, but also I want to encourage you guys to be involved in acti any activities that school might offer to you. Also, I want to encourage you guys to be part of local churches. You know, if you guys are at local churches, you know, you can truly grow as a person and also grow in Christ together as you guys have your family together. So I want to truly encourage you guys to be involved in school and involved in the local church as you guys stay strong and be courageous in God, holding on to Him. Because Christ, He will lead us. He will hold on to us, our hearts. And last of all, I want to encourage you guys to have, uh, always have positive attitude as you guys start your new journey, your life here at Liberty. Thank you.